sampaye pia obanya nsafu so wo bunu bia won kana asem they mafu to sam ka krewa so peme we are on another fact finding mission across Ghana to check out the situation of road networks as we've had so many calls from people in especially cocoa growing areas. First, we went through the eastern region where we want to see if the situation is getting better or worse. On our way, we came across a crash and the Kibi police are doing their best to ensure that the roads are safe. Unfortunately, they do not even have the resources to do their work. Their service pickup is leaking when it rains and sometimes they have to push it to start. This vehicle is an old car. It shouldn't be used for this. Hmm. So what do you recommend? The government should give them something useful. They shouldn't leave them, but the president or ministers should be sitting in big cars and the police should be using this. It's very bad. At this particular crash site, we were made known of a bridge. We went to check it out. We saw how deep it is. Unfortunately, it has no crash barriers. Eti aha is your way river blim a ho na kuchafrani wu yinu. Yana ye 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 kuchafrani a betu a kwenu. Eti aha na ye as is up by no me here. Na da den yina bubu o so. Na if I say na e kika kwanu ebu wa how be ube huna private ka kwa ye den a di betia e be kwa private ka wo yisi no. Na if I tina e nye fe kula. Enti a bay no mu be here na highways in pendi for no openi na o waso no. On one kasa kasa be here na da den no en kosro na we nchi we we nchi we. Na we di e sign biya ni ho se. Eh, big be wa. Is a crap or yeah, no science way nuclear, yeah, I have my nuclear then a cover so you know. If at a high, nothing I'm off for who are nuclear no dear, and yet every month be a ya nipa who a police for the classroom. Obviously, a walk a who a cow sensor, true ways are highways, highways in for no. A walk a who he, a walk a who he, a muso who dear mobe who. Now, this is a phone to be better and send a woman who is away. And in fact, a boy in Ankasa Kasa no one here, no one in the Nancy Highways in Penny Phone, no one here at the way. While here at the way, the Abba will handle it fast and proper and the Emma. This particular crash that happened was caused by a falling tree. Let's talk to the driver. How did this crash happen? You know, when I was coming, I saw a tree fell on the road. So I was balancing and I, I, I met it. A different car coming towards me. But then, before I saw it, I kept to this side, and that's so couldn't see anything again. Was there any other occupant of the vehicle? Uh, only me. How are you feeling? Have you been to the hospital? Not yet, but I'm feeling small pains. Not too much. Moving on from this crash site, we went on the road towards New Ebrim. The assemblyman of one of the communities spoke to us and this is what he had to say. Tell me more about your road and the situations here. And I uh, have been in this town for the past 20 years plus and uh, realized that we have a lot of problems in this town, especially with our road systems. We realize that the nature of the road here is beyond the assemblyman's jurisdiction. It's a national assignment. And really, from Ngoko to Equiancy to Abrim, it's a very, very dangerous road. 
and uh, uh, we have some big gold mines over there, Newmont, and so many of them passing here with a lot of heavy equipment. So the need, there is a need for the road to have a proper repair, not repair, but reconstruction with proper bitumen or asphalt, so that the heavy machinery pass over here. As a result of that, during the dry season, a lot of dust. All the houses on both left and right from Gokor to Abrim. Dust. Everybody's room, a lot of dust. Pneumonia. Diseases because of the dust. That is the situation we have with our road system over here. Well, as we moved on the road, it was evident that the road is causing so much havoc to vehicular movement. This pickup you see here has its hub ripped off as a result of the nature of the road. Let's see more of the road condition. This is the reality we see each time we travel across Ghana. We see poor road networks in our rural poor communities, which are the breadbaskets of the country. The villagers are not able to transport their farm produce to the marketing centers because of such bad roads. The lives that are taken on these roads cannot be compensated for. And for the spare parts, it's only the owners of vehicles that know how much they spend. For how long are we going to wait to let our roads remain this way and keep the ordinary farmer poor? We need to do something about this if we want Ghana to develop. Development starts from the breadbasket of the country, which is our rural areas. Let's do something about these road conditions now. The Reporter, an in-depth news report from The Reporter.